Hello everybody, this is Straining Gamer back to kick off round two of everyone's favourite group, it's Group E. And yes, it's everyone's favourite group because Dino Hunter's in it. No, just kidding, it's because I'm in it. Everyone's favourite host. Right, let's have a look at our matches. So, in this session, we've got Ooh going up against Iron Dan. Then we got Maastrician going up against Dino Hunter. And then a clash at the top between our host, Stranger Gamer, and Team Eura. Well, let's get on with the first matchup, shall we? An important game at the bottom, I feel. I feel like this is an important match for both of these two guys. Oh, in the Alpha Arena. Okay, so, in the red corner, for, um, uh, we have Armatus. Uh, didn't really... Kind of struggled to get to impose themselves on Team Europe. I thought they would win that match, but they didn't. Okay, backing up the arm at us, we have Spiny. Actually, if you think about it, Spiny should have terrain advantage here, because it is an alpha dinosaur. <laughs> but it doesn't. Oh, it's super Spiny. Okay, so yeah, Awake Mode on three. It's going to be interesting, because I think this is the first match in the tournament where both guys have a uh, super dinosaur. And ironically, both both of them are Spino. Well, spiny, Super Spiny and then Super Spino for Iron Dance. Oh, oh, <laughs> Look, this is going to be a really intriguing match. Speak of the devil for Iron Dan in the blue corner, we've got the Stegosaurus. So it would be Armatus against Stegosaurus and Super Spiny against Super Spino. Well, I actually only just realised that. <laughs> this, this is going to be a good match. This is going to be a really tight match. And yeah, as I said, back in at the Steg, we got Super Spinal, Wake Mode on 4. Um, both of them want to swap when HP's in the red, so yeah. Scrap my notes and go in the bin. <laughs> this could be an this is an important match for both of these two. Don't want to get cut adrift early on. You, you saw Group D, you see Lad and the other dude, Silver Knights cut adrift, starting to get cut adrift early on. You don't want to be in that situation. You want to get a win on the board as early as possible. Give yourself a chance to qualify. Remember, only the top four qualify from the group stage. The other two get a one-way ticket home. And it's Iron Dan getting off the first hit. Was unfortunate in his when he lost to Dino Hunter in round one. Although overall, I think Dino Hunter has the edge anyway. But ooh, we got a shockwave. Might see plenty of shockwaves. Okay, so that means, ooh, Iron Dan will be going for that crit. Will he get it? Well, sadly, you can't go paper. Oh, he's going to get the correct. The shockwave making the difference. And this is a very strong start from Iron Dan. Ooh, kind of struggling so far. Blech. Oh, it's time to swap for Armatus. Technique boost coming in there. Iron Dan on top. But we all know in this tournament, that can change very quickly. So yes, Armatus getting a hit here. Ooh, finally responding with a hit. Again, the elemental power off and a swap in the spine. Right, that's once. Oh, there's another crit from the stag. Iron Dam pressing home his lead with more spike arrow action. And things are starting to look prickly for Ur. Oh, wow. Okay, that's twice. He's going to need the Awaken Mode here. Iron Dan is completely on top. But how many times have I said that in these tournaments? Like, not referring to Iron Dan, but referring to someone being on top and then they get beat. Okay, this, this could be... Ooh, this could be the break, though, that Ur needed because it is Awakening time. And the shockwave will apply, so actually, yeah, there will be guaranteed damage no matter what. And that damage will be rock. Yeah, I'm sorry, Iron Dan, you can't go paper. You can't go paper, you're going to have to go scissors. And that will be all she wrote for the stack. Boosh! Oh, wait, oh, wait what? It survived? Oh, come on! Survived by a sliver. <laughs> oh, they can't catch a breaker, can they? Okay, yes. Spino will be swapping back. Okay, that's how I'll do it. Takes out the steg. 
So it is two dinos to one, but one, that one dino of Iron Dan's is on full power and has the Awaken Mode to count on if he needs it. It's tight. And that will be Super Spiny down. So yeah, twice. Okay, that's twice. Oh uh, yeah, it's not looking good for. Uh, I think. I, I, oh yeah, it's game over. Definitely game over. Six. Iron Dan hitting the jackpot and getting the job done. Didn't even need the Awaken mode. The Stegosaurus did it all on his own. Yeah, that was tough for uh, they, they they put up a little bit of a late fight back, but in the end, I think Iron Dan the dot the spike arrows really did the damage, and that is a very good win for Iron Dan. They might regret not getting the bonus point win, but I'm sure they'll be happy with the win nonetheless. And it gets them off the mark. Right then, on to our second matchup, shall we? Oh, we're on the arid field. Which is actually very bad news for both of these guys. Well, it's, it cancelled each other out because both of these dudes got water dinosaurs. Right, in the red corner for Master Shun, we got Brontokins with terrain disadvantage. But because Dino Hunter's first dino also has terrain disadvantage, neither one will get hit. Okay, backing up the big bad Bronte, we got the Euraptor. And neither of our guys have an Earth Dinosaur either. Oh, it's a Stegosaurus. Interesting. Which is actually very good for Mastrishan if he gets hits because he'll get Earth Barriers off over and over. Which will increase the number of hits Dino Hunter will need to kill the Brontokin. So that could be key. Having e Eoraptor become Stegosaurus could be key here for Master Shun. Right, as for Dino Hunter in the blue corner, we got Spinosaurus, which has terrain disadvantage. Dino Hunter again off to a winning start against Iron Dan last time out. We'll be looking to make it two wins out of two. And in fact, if you minus the 3v3 tournaments, Dino Hunter actually has a really good record in tag tournaments. I think the very first tournament that they joined, they did really well. Only lost like one match. So yeah, Dino Hunter seems to do well in tag team tournaments. Well, they do well this time. Well, if they win this one, they'll go top. Well, until I play and probably win. <laughs> Again, get ahead of myself. Okay, so Master Shun swaps when HP's in the yellow, Dino Hunter in the red. Both of these guys would have terrain disadvantage, but because they both have terrain disadvantage, they cancel each other out, so moves will be generated like normal. Ooh, and that's good news for Master Shun, getting a crit off the bat with an Earth Barrier to come. Boom! Couldn't have asked for a better start. Boosh! Tech boost coming in as well. And yeah, this is going to be a big problem for Dino Hunter. Again, can set Earth Barrier off over and over is, is a big problem. While the Brontokins chips away at Spino as well. Right. I think Dino Hunt needs to get this Brontokin's HP in the yellow so that Master Shun is forced to swap into the Eoraptor. Okay, there's a hit from Dino Hunter. Alpha Dice. Actually, does it? I think this eats through Earth Barrier. Oh, it's a six. I think Earth Barrier doesn't matter here. Oh, look at that! Eating through the Earth Barrier. Oh, the perfect counter there from Dino Hunter. And now the Brontokin's is forced to swap. Which means Dino Hunter gets to sink his teeth into the Eoraptor. Wow, could that well, Master Shun man, you're just you're just unlucky, okay? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he gets the hit, but Eoraptor has to come in. And this thing is fragile as hell. Ooh, but ties do help it. Because it's got Sand Trap. So, Master Shun is going to be in the lead. Boosh! Okay, the problem Master Shun will have, though, is that this Allosaurus Atrox will get a hit on Brontokins if it takes out the Eoraptor because of that terrain disadvantage. But let's see what this Eoraptor can do. Can it stall out long enough? Well, if it keeps getting off ties, it's going to. 
yeah, this sand trap, it'll increase the damage the Atrox takes in a tie as well. Mastrician, I think, yeah, on top. Dino Under is in trouble. But, one crit. Oh, here we go, a shockwave, which actually guarantees Mastrician will get another hit. Because a tie, well, it's going to get a sand trap. Off the face up, it's going to go paper. But he doesn't need the sand trap. He gets the hit anyway. Well, Dino had a good hit there with the alpha dice, but it's all Mastrician now. Okay, well, this is consecutive shockwave removal, so the shockwave rule will not apply here because it's consecutive shockwaves. So moves will be generated like normal. And well, the worst that can happen here is a tie. Okay, no sand trap there. I think it's probably used up at this point. Oh, but he doesn't need it. It's a bonus point win for Mastrician. That is much more like it. And yeah, Eeyore Raptor really proved its worth there. And Dino went there, well... Yep, didn't get going. Really, str really struggled to impose their game. But Mastrician getting the job done with a bonus point win, bouncing back from disappointment in round one. But what that result does do, though, is open the door for one of these two guys to build up a lead at the top of Group E. So let's find out who indeed will do that. Well then, now the real fun begins, because I'm up. Okay, in the red corner, for our host, Stranger Gamer, we got the OG, we got the one and only, it's a Mega Raptor. Okay, we are on the meadow, which is actually bad news for me, because I got a fire dinosaur. So, you know the rules. Terrain advantages will play out first, then the blitz type rule, and then the quick strike rule. Backing up the Mega Raptor, we got the Let's type Tarbosaurus. Megaraptor's gonna have to do some work here. I do have the quick strike, so my first move will be a Skizzers. Actually, yeah, this is very good for my opponent in Team Europe, who also have a Guanodon, which also has terrain advantage, but this Megalosaurus is in first. Hmm. Might regret this. Might have regret now for in some good dinosaurs in these bot teams. <laughs> Ugh. But as I said, it's a chance for one of these two to open up a gap at the top. Okay, I do have a type of antler with this Guanodon, so yeah. Not the end of the world. Okay, I want to swap when HP's below half and Team Europe when HP's in the red. I mean, I should remember these. I set these up. Right, so my first move, as I said, is going to be scissors. No terrain advantages or type blitz, you know, whatever to worry about. So, let's see if I get the quick strike off. The answer to that is no. Oh, they called the bluff. I'm going to take a lot of damage. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. All right, can't make her up. Pull yourself together, pull yourself together. We can do this. We, can, we got this. It's only a Megalosaurus. Like, we need, to, we need to kill this Megalos. Okay, that's Nobble of Half. Ooh, yes, a Net Crusher! Ha ha ha! No bias in any way, yeah? Very professional, I mean. Professional commentators shouldn't be biased, but I am anyway. Whoa, look at the damage! That's more like it. Come on, Mega Rap, you can do it. Okay, so it's time for the Megs to swap into the Iguanodon, which is a problem. Because the Iguanodon will have the free hit because of the terrain advantage. But he's not getting the hit. Ah, this, this is basically what happened in the first round. First round, we just demolished the opponent with Net Crusher. Okay, so as I said, this Iguanodon will get a hit because it does have terrain advantage. And that hit will be a crit. Boom, they called the bluff. Oh, bloody hell! He had the terrain, he had the bloody dislike disadvantage, it still almost killed me. Ooh, this could be a pivotal moment here, the Mega Raptor's got a Dino Illusion, but a tie will be enough to kill it. Oh, then of course it's a tie. <laughs> oh, but, and you know what this means now? The Iguanodon gets another crit, because it's got tight, because it's got terrain advantage over this Tarbosaurus, which has terrain disadvantage. 
Oh no, this is not going well. Okay, so Tarbosaurus is blitz type, so it will get the firebomb here. Provided that the iguana goes for paint. But it does! Yeah, got the firebomb! Firebomb! Oh, Tarbosaurus, you can do it! You didn't do anything last time, but you can do it this time. Boosh. Yeah, look at that! And the Tappy Jar at two of our dive. Oh, hang on a minute, we might win! It's a volcano burst! The ultimate move! Oh, we did it! The Blitz type effect of the Tarbosaurus! Coming through for our host to get the job done! In a very quick contest, I might add. Yeah, that was, wow, that was insane! Even with the terrain advantage, I still managed to get the job done. And that puts me in a very good position in Group E. Right, let's have a look at our Group Group E stand, shall we? Well, look at that. A very good round for our host. Opening up a three-point lead on Maastrician. And a four, well, a four-point lead on Iron Dan. Well, on, on these guys, anyway. Because they're all, like, level pecking. <laughs> so, yes, we have our host, Stranger Gamer, topping Group E after round two. Maastrician storming up the table into second with our bonus point win over Dino Hunter. And we have Team Europe and Dino Hunter still on three points. Iron Dan getting off the mark as well. And Urs, you know, on zero points. But they're not cut adrift. I will say that. They, you know, the, these three guys, these guys are, with, are catchable. So yeah, Urs still, and, and they still have to play me as well. And in fact, that is actually, the that is actually round three. So round three in this group, we will see Iron Dan going up against Maastrician. Uh, going up against our host, Stranger Gamer. And then Dino Hunter taking on Team Europe. So yeah, Group E really heating up here. And that's going to end the session. So <laughs> not much to say to be honest. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.